All right, so we've got mechanical problems here again at Johnny's Car Care and reviews. So continue watching to the end to see everything that we need to do on this classic vehicle to get it running. Now let's hear that exhaust. Let us know what you think. I think that's pretty, pretty gnarly. I just got to say that one major benefit of older, well, the Toyota MR2 in particular, but generally most older vehicles, they are much lighter than today's sports cars. The fact that this is light makes the horsepower so much more powerful, how you feel it, and it makes the vehicle so much more fun to drive. This is an absolute blast to drive. It is a complete riot. I love it. I uh, highly recommend it if you're willing to deal with all the inconveniences we have been talking about. Just, it's a zippy go-kart with how light it is. It's an absolute blast and that's why I recommend it. If you've got the money, not just for the vehicle, but for the repairs, the maintenance, and the time that all that entails, fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. If you only have the money for the vehicle and you won't have money for repairs, don't hope that you won't run into any. Uh, it won't be an enjoyable experience. You won't enjoy having the vehicle, even with having the money available. It's taken two years to really sort out all the problems with this vehicle. All right, so maybe you already guessed it, but this is back to the mechanics. Uh, we have a lot of modifications in this vehicle. You can see the upgraded intercooler in the front here to help it from not overheating but it is getting really close to overheating. It's on the final line before being in that overheat, gonna blow that engine realm or area. So even though we've got all these air intakes on the vehicle and also the air extractor, this is overheating, so off we go, folks. Now, right before we take this for a drive, let's mention that yes, currently the battery light does come on. I either have an issue with the battery or probably the alternator alternator is due and this is the third engine all right so we are back at the mechanic and get a few things resolved uh, the alternator should be good as they took it apart and changed bearings inside and the, well it, hopefully it's just the battery because we do have the check engine sorry check battery light on we're going to put a low temp thermostat because it is running a little hot the line right before the red not the only Japanese J-Spec vehicle here. This is pretty cool. We've got uh, this right-hand drive Toyota Soar right here that I am very much digging even if it's automatic. While it's here, we're not only going to be getting the battery or alternator issue resolved. Uh, before jumping in and throwing fans to cool the engine off, we're going to try a low temp thermostat for the Toyota MR2. Just all part of owning an older vehicle, uh, any, even if it's a Toyota, you, no matter what brand, what brand you truly believe is truly reliable, any older vehicle is gonna cause some problems. So it shouldn't be the alternator, alternator as they already took that apart and changed bearings inside. Uh, we got the trim glued up, peeled away the access, 3M double-sided tape from that trim bar. Uh, so we've glued it in. Hopefully we find a little missing piece there. But uh, still some work to be done on this. Also, the headlights aren't popping up because, well, a nice little chipmunk ate through the wiring. So we're going to get the wiring replaced on that and have the red race, uh, red, race red bride seats installed because, well, these seats are finished. Take a look at this. Finished and well, we got to get the we got to get the trim on the t-top replaced because you can see how the seat is wet. I am tired of riding with a wet butt, and unfortunately, couldn't get the cap to fit on this. But I am very much liking the steering wheel we've got installed here. We'll want to redo that dash trim because that's looking pretty funky. But with 135,000 kilometers, we still have this suede that is looking good still in great condition this uh one of the lowest 
mile MR2s out there with 135,000 kilometers only. So let's, uh, we'll keep you updated soon as the work on this is done. So let's check out some of the J-Spec vehicles they've got here. Well, sorry, this one's not J-Spec because it's a left-hand drive, but still the Celica is looking pretty good, for really good actually for the age. Got the Toyota MR2 over there, the Toyota Soar. Pontiac doesn't quite fit in, but still not minding the look. It's mid-engine, so that's pretty cool. So really liking this place, perfect tuning. So if you're in the Quebec area, really do consider bringing your projects to perfect tuning. We've got a Skyline out in the back and a Sylvia, because yeah, that's a right-hand drive. So that's a Sylvia, not an S15. Very, very cool. Next is SCP 100 and white. 